I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. Donkey, 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 donkey. Bunch of <laughs> jackass. That's for the donkey of the day. That's pretty fun. Where's Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yes. Donkey of the Day for Wednesday, March 29th goes to Fox News anchor Bill O'Reilly. Now, I watch the O'Reilly Factor. Uh, I watch it often because I think Bill is entertaining. Don't agree with everything he says, but I think he's a talented guy. And one of his greatest talents to me is that he's an amazing dream seller. Kids, what does your Uncle Charlotte tell you all the time? That life is about the buying and selling of dreams, and there's no better hustler of dreams than Bill O'Reilly. See, Bill O'Reilly claims his show is the no spin zone. He's made millions of Americans buy into the dream of the no spin zone. And, you know, the no spin zone is allegedly a place on the O'Reilly factor in which it is claimed that politicians are, anybody else for that matter, can not spin their arguments. But the irony of that is Bill O'Reilly himself can spin everything you said. And indeed he does. Uh, case in point, yesterday when he was on Fox and Friends, O'Reilly watched a clip of the legendary Maxine Waters speaking on the House floor. Now, Queen Maxine was speaking on the House floor, and she was saying that criticism of the celebrity-in-chief Donald Trump is very patriotic. Let's hear it because this is important. When we fight against this president and we point out how dangerous he is for this society and for this country, we're fighting for the democracy. We're fighting for America. We're saying to those who say they're patriotic, but they turned a blind eye to the destruction that he's about to, to cause this country. You're not nearly as patriotic as we are. Now, the reason this is important is because you have those in this country who want to shame you or tell you that if you speak out against this government or this administration or this president that you are un-American or you're not patriotic. And that's all BS. This isn't about conservatives or liberals at this point when it comes to this administration. It's about good versus evil. It's not about right versus left. It's about right versus wrong. And the only side people need to worry about being on is the right side of history when it comes to this wicked system that we are currently in. You voted for Trump. That's fine. We all make mistakes. But now is the time to swallow your pride, check your ego, and let's do what's best for this country. Like Maxine Waters said, we are fighting for democracy. That's what America is built on, okay? The president technically works for us. Not even technically, he works for us. So if we want to critique him and demand things of him, we have every right to do so because that's what a democracy is all about. And when Queen Maxine said, we're saying to those who say they're patriotic, but they turn a blind eye to the destruction he is about to cause to this country, ugh, drop on the clues bombs for Queen Maxine. You are not nearly as patriotic as we are. That is a fact. If you love America like you say you do, then why sit back and let this administration ruin this country? Everything Queen Maxine said was truth, and the truth needs no defense, only witnesses. O'Reilly and the rest of the clowns on Fox and Friends heard that truth, and of course they couldn't swallow their pride and say she's right, because then that would be admitting they made a mistake because they probably voted for Trump. So O'Reilly decided to spin it and deflect from her comments altogether. Listen to this. So what does that mean, Bill? We've been listening all morning. We cannot. I, I didn't any... hear a word she said. I was, <laughs> I was looking at the James Brown wig. <laughs> uh, if, to, if we have a picture of James, it's the same. It's the same one, no, right? Okay. And he's not using I it anymore. Defend just, her on you guys that. are all, you're all wrong. I about have this. to defend her on that. She's. A, you can't go after a woman's looks. I think she's very attractive. But she, I didn't say she wasn't attractive. Her I love pretty. James Brown. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. You didn't, you didn't hear a word she I said, love James huh? Brown. You didn't hear a word she said. No, you didn't want to hear a word she said. When somebody speaks the truth instead of addressing the truth, Queen Maxine said, you deflect and talk about Maxine Waters' wig. Now, what Maxine said about critique of the celebrity in chief has been lost. Okay, look, Maxine Waters' wig has nothing to do with this country. Uh, Queen Maxine's wig has nothing to do with this current administration ruining this country. That's why you have to give these guys like O'Reilly the same respect they give you. Okay, Michelle Obama said, when they go low, we go high. That's cool. But I also believe in giving someone the same energy. Give them that same energy they give me. Okay, look, if you're a guest on O'Reilly Factor and you don't like what Bill said about Queen Maxine, then when Bill O'Reilly says anything, reply by bringing up the sexual harassment case Fox News secretly settled for Bill O'Reilly. Or even better, when Bill O'Reilly makes a point, instead of responding to his point, bring up the fact that Bill O'Reilly lost custody of his kids in a New York court ruling. Bring up the fact that he allegedly beat up his now ex-wife in front of the kids. Give Bill O'Reilly that same petty-ass energy he gave Maxine Waters, okay? Bill O'Reilly is 67, which means he is officially at the age where he walks around naked in the locker room at the gym. And if you ever catch him naked in the locker room at the gym, you're going to realize that him and his testicles are twins. 
Now, I totally understand the concept of when they go low, we go high, but I believe when they go low, take it to the floor with them sometimes. Now, I have explained to you people over and over the difference between white people and crack ass crackers. I don't want you all to ever, I don't want you all to ever generalize because that's dangerous, right? You got white people and you got crack ass crackers. Crack ass crackers are racist, sexist bigots who want to oppress everyone. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, Puerto Rican, whatever. When you run into a racist, sexist bigot disrespecting someone like Queen Maxine, never be afraid to call them what they are. Cracker ass cracker, cracker ass cracker, I'll put my foot in the cracker ass, cracker ass cracker. I wish that cracker would have said some sh to me, saltine ass mother cracker. Hey, please give big, please give big Bill O'Reilly the biggest hee haw, please. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. That's uh, Chris Rock bigger and blacker, by the way, if you want to. <laughs> If you want to watch that lady kids all right your uncle charlotte recommends it <laughs> crack ass cracker all right <laughs> the breakfast club